the absolute cheapest way to have gotten my stuff in would have been to just use shipping card all the way for everything. I will take a 6,000 peso savings any day. Today, we're going to do a different type of video. So if this is not your first time on this channel, you know that I'm the type of guy that loves his tools. In the Philippines, we don't have as many options as some of our friends in the US or Canada. All of the tools you see here, I had to get outside of the Philippines. But this always begs the question, how do I get it here? And this can be a very intimidating question. It doesn't have to be. In the span of 30 days, I have bought the following items from the US. A cordless hammer drill, welding gloves, two cordless orbital sanders, cordless compact router, router edge guide, router dust collection adapter, plunge base for the router, cordless wet dry vacuum, universal connector for that vac, hair ties for my wife, two books for my son, and a rolling table saw stand. You'll notice too that it's a good mix of fairly large items like the vacuum and table saw stand, and smaller stuff like books and smaller power tools. It was because of this mix of items that I felt it important to make this video and really share my experience getting all of this stuff in. It's also important to mention that how I got this stuff in wasn't necessarily the best or cheapest way to get it in. I know this now because hindsight is 2020 and I reviewed all the different ways I could have brought this stuff in so you won't have to make the same mistakes I did. So before I tell you what I think I should have done, let me share with you first how I actually did it. First, I bought the drill and welding gloves from Amazon and had it shipped directly to me in the Philippines for about 1,650 pesos. Then I bought the two sanders and did the same thing. This time I paid about 1,400. I then saw what I thought was a good deal on eBay for the cordless router so I bought that and because there's no global shipping option for eBay, I had that shipped to my shipping cart account in the US. After that, I got the rest of the router accessories from Amazon and I had all of that shipped to my shipping cart account too. Once those items got to my shipping cart account, I shipped the cordless router and the accessories via C because it was a lot cheaper. I paid about $30 which comes out to about 1,500 pesos. Later on, the vacuum, vac adapter, two books, and hair ties all arrived. I didn't want to wait so long to get these items so I decided to ship via air. That decision cost me $200 which comes out to about 10,000 pesos. The rolling table saw stand would have cost me a fortune to ship via air. So I decided to ship that via sea once it arrived. That cost me about $100, which comes out to another 5,000 pesos. So in total, it cost me about 20,000 to ship all of this stuff the way that I did, plus about another 2,000 in taxes for the items that were shipped to my shipping cart account in the US. Incidentally, you should know this. When you buy an item and have it shipped to a US address, even if you have the intention to ship it outside of the US, you still have to pay the US taxes. That's over 22,000 on tax and shipping charges alone. Now let's talk about other options. If I had just put everything in my Amazon cart and bought everything from Amazon in one go and just checked out using global shipping with no regard for import duties and shipping fees, one, I would have paid a bit more for that cordless router because it was more expensive on Amazon, and two, and more importantly, I would have ended up paying almost 23,000 pesos in shipping plus more than 17,000 in import duties. That's about 40,000 pesos versus the 22,000 I spent. No thank you. Having said this though, if you are willing to just buy everything from Amazon, there is a way to get your stuff directly via global shipping without paying the ridiculous import fees. All you need to do is remember to always check out at about $200 or less. You start getting charged import fees once you cross that 10,000 peso mark. Had I done this, I could have bought the items in batches like this. I could have started with the cordless compact router, that would have cost me 1,200 in shipping. Then the router edge guide plus rolling table saw stand together would have cost 9,000 pesos in shipping. Two sanders for 1,400 400, one book, power drill, vacuum connector, welding gloves for 2,000 pesos in shipping, vacuum, dust collector, the second book for 3,600, the plunge base I could have shipped for 1,600, and finally for the hair ties I ordered, I would have no choice but to ship those to my shipping cart because the seller on Amazon would not ship outside the US. That would have cost about $20 or 1,000 pesos. That would have brought my total shipping cost down from the 22,000 I actually spent to about 20,000. But remember, I bought that cordless router slightly higher than I had to because the Amazon price was higher than eBay, so consider the actual price of the items too. The truth is, the absolute cheapest way to have gotten my stuff in would have been to just use shipping cart all the way for everything. And I think this is really where shipping cart services shine. The fact that you can order a bunch of items and accumulate them within 30 days allows you to consolidate them all together and ship them all at once. But there is one major caveat. This method only works if you ship via sea. That's really where you get the best value and that's where the service shines the most in my opinion. If I had ordered all of those items and had it delivered to my shipping cart account within 30 days and subsequently shipped them all via sea, I would have paid approximately $250 for everything. That amounts to about $12,700 plus the $3,350 I would have had to pay in US taxes equals about 16,000 pesos. It's still a large sum of money but it is certainly less than the $22,000 in my current scenario. And if you ask me, I will take a six 
6,000 peso savings any day. I can buy another power tool with that money. One last thing, there is the factor of time. Just remember that every time you ship via sea, it's anywhere between a 45 to 70 day wait. Some people don't have that kind of patience. But for significant savings, I will force myself to be patient. I hope this video was helpful to you guys out there. And if you decide to sign up for a shipping card account, please use my referral code and get a 15% discount on your first shipment. Good luck, keep building, and happy hunting.